it'll be good. I've done a lot more difficult things, so. Okay, so how tall are you? How tall am I? We're getting off to a great start. <laughs> Almost six foot seven. Oh, six foot, did Almost. you ever play basketball? Yeah, I did. did played all those crazy sports, but I had some injuries in high school and I didn't get to play college ball. Um, the little football, I mean, the little uh, university that I graduated from down in uh, North Alabama tried to recruit me to play tight end the last couple of years, but I decided yeah. not to do it. Yeah. So. so I understand you took some time off to be with family and took a break from music, is that right? Well, I just, I, a lot of people, uh, want to talk about that it wasn't really a it was more like a sabbatical you know yeah. it, it was it was uh i didn't i didn't go in the studio as much for a few years and i i cut out some of the road work that was um stuff that i thought that i could make it without doing those shows you know i mean if they didn't pay good i just said no yeah. and and somehow you know i was still able to pay the bills but i spent a little more quality time at home with my family and yeah. And they just needed that at the time. So, yeah. I think you did the right thing. Thank well, you. what's your favorite song to perform? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's there's a, there's a bunch of of the big hits that are very rewarding and and uh, and, and for different reasons, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously, I love to do "Have You Forgotten," <clears throat> but it's it's like. Uh, it's more fun and more entertaining when you're doing it to a group of soldiers. So like yeah. in the war zone or somewhere like that, and there's 3,000 soldiers out there with, with their rifles locked and loaded, it's pretty intense, you yeah. know, and that's cool. But, um, you know, there's a song called Second Wind that, that people know. It's just my mom's favorite song, and uh, I really like doing that song. And, and, and all the big, you know, number ones. Yeah. I Miss My Friend is a, is a song that, so many people here in the country connected to because of of uh, just what the subject matter is. So, mm -hmm. I, I don't know yeah. all of those. Songs. There's songs yeah. that that are on albums that nobody's even ever heard yeah. that that we love doing. So yeah. it's just it's hard for me to tell you my yeah. favorite song okay. to perform. Is there anyone you'd want to collaborate <laughs> with that you haven't already? <laughs> you mean someone that's still alive? <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> No, seriously. Yeah. I mean, the well, pe people ask me that. People ask me that question all the time, you yeah. know. And I would have loved to have had a chance to sit in the room with Keith Whitley and, you know, just hear him talk or, yeah. or sing, sing and play and play the acoustic guitar and sing. I think we would have probably been inspired to write something really incredible because uh, I was just moved by his, uh, you know, his his songs and his music and his voice and and his just who he was I mean yeah. he's an incredible person so I think that would have been fun but uh, you know there's a there's a lot of guys uh, that are still here on uh, mm -hmm. on earth that mm -hmm. I would uh, would like to get in the same room with and see if we could come up with something like who um, I've always wanted to write with Alan Jackson yeah you know uh, and I think that if if we did we'd probably write something really cool um, and, and there's there's quite a few of them uh, you know Dwight Yoakam writes quite a bit and uh, with different people and I always thought it'd be cool uh, to have an opportunity to sit down with him because he comes up with unique stuff yeah. so anything out of the box is cool mm -hmm. so what inspires you to write country music do you write your own songs yeah yeah I write most of my stuff I've only had a couple of you know, really big hits with uh, songs that other people wrote. But I always try to cut some outside songs because I think it's important to Nashville and the songwriting community that you support that too, you know. And, and there's so many incredible songwriters and great songs out there floating around. You'd be stupid not to do yeah. it. But um, writing to me is like the, be the beginning of the whole process and it's why I came to town. Not, not so much for the artist thing, but. And my songwriting is what got me my record deal, so yeah. it's Tom cool. Tom Britt was telling me about that. <laughs> so if there's one thing you'd want fans to remember about you, what would that be? I think that uh, I truly care about the music. I, 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 uh, I really uh, I kind of champion the traditional country sound because I think we're getting really far away from that, and, and some of it 
is just annoying to me, but... Uh, it's I, turned I, into iPads and computers, and you want to go back to the real... Well, all of my country. people want to buy a yeah. record or a yeah. CD, and they want to hold it in their hands, and, and it makes it very hard for some of us, you know, like the last record we had that sell, sold a lot of copies, 96% uh, of it was sold in Walmart, and it was like uh, CDs, and so... Yeah. My fans are constantly asking me, can I not just go buy your CD? <laughs> I still like yeah. having CDs. I do like too. The well, yeah, you can, and you get to read yeah. the liner notes and yeah. stuff, you know? So, I, I mean, I do too. I'm, I'm that same guy, but um, it's different. It's, it's really changed a lot, but um, I, I'm, I'm inspired right now. You know, we just released our new Greatest Hits package, and uh, I'm excited about that music. And, and to be honest with you, you know, we moved back home to West Tennessee. Uh, hello, Jackson. So where do you live now? Well, okay. I live over in, on our farm between um, Savannah and Waynesboro. That's where you live now? Yes. Oh, do you want to give a shout out to anyone? Well, yeah, all, all my West Tennessee <laughs> folks. Are you kidding? Yeah. Not just not just Savannah, man. <laughs> that down there is home. And uh, my wife and my daughter, you know, they live out there on the farm when I'm gone. And, and my wife, she's about ready to kill me. She's like... I don't have any internet service out oh, here. I don't no. have any phone service. I'm disconnected from the world. And uh, She's the biggest. like a cave woman. <laughs> yeah, she, exactly. You, you, I wish she hadn't said that because oh, I used no. to make jokes about it. And now really? <laughs> she, she's, uh, she's a little frustrated, but we're, uh, we're farming. And, and uh, you know, we wanted to get our daughter a little bit more into uh, kind of the way we grew up. And, and uh, she's yeah, loving it. Animals? We have every kind of animal. Really? Do you oh have horses? Oh my gosh. Oh, you kidding? I love horses. Five I of volunteer them. at Redemption Road Rescue. Oh, we gave a, a horse to those guys, you I think. Did? I, I think we did. I have uh, a soft spot for horses. Well, come come over and oh, Kimberly good. will put you on one. Of, we we have horses that we call babysitters. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you have horse experience or not, they'll take care of you. You can horseback ride them or do you just take care of them? Oh no, we got Redemption we got, Road. You can't ride them. We got 300 acres. You can ride oh, anywhere you sweet. want to. Yeah, come I think on. I just got invited to horseback ride. You can absolutely <laughs> come over. They would love. They'll take you out there, and um, you can get ticks and chiggers all over <laughs> oh, you. And no ticks. <laughs> Do you have like pigs and donkeys? And, and we don't have pigs and donkeys right now, but we've had all that. Yeah. And. Uh, I hope we don't get back in the pig business because that's just, uh, I had to do that when I was growing up. And uh, uh, But the girls are just jumping up and down for another donkey, so that's yeah. probably coming soon. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's so cool. I love the West Tennessee <clears throat> connection. Oh, man. Um, I, I mean, to be honest with you, it's just, uh, it's very real with me. I don't know what it is. I don't think there's people like that anywhere else in the world. Uh, Kimberly would agree. We're, we're very different. Uh, but there's something really special about West Tennessee. Uh, it's it's just unlike any place else in the world. And when I go off to all these other places, I've I've been in some of the most beautiful places you could ever imagine. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about getting back home. What do you like most about it? The people? I think that's a, a huge part of it. But uh, I like the countryside too. You know, yeah. we've got not only do we have these big deltas and, and flat river bottom land where I can see the corn growing for miles. But we've got ridge tops and foothills and mountains and, and I mean we just it's just it's everything you could possibly want there swamps and sloughs and rivers and streams and big creeks and fishing and hunting and it's Man, just that sounds amazing yeah. well it is it truly is so you know I mean if 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 you got somebody over there in Jackson that's looking to hire someone to sell West Tennessee tell them to give old Daryl Worley a call because I can do it. <laughs> into a commercial. Well, have you had fun at CMA Fest? Are you on your way back home? I'm this? tired. I'm tired, too. I got blisters. I'm ready to go home. Yeah, me too. <laughs> to well, West Tennessee. I'll see Tennessee. you in West Tennessee. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Well, it was so good meeting you. Yes, ma'am. I've too. taken you up on the horseback riding. Please come. They would love you. You know what? I can't you, find anywhere you to horseback ride. You may be a little... Uh, 